Hi guys, welcome. Today I'm going to do a dish that I actually discovered on my last trip to Trinidad. And this is served in bars. It's very popular in bars. Because you know when people drink, they love to eat a lot of flavorful and spicy foods. And this is exactly what this appetizer or cutters is. And my brother actually introduced me to this. He pulled up at his bar and we both don't drink. So I was confused. And then he came out with his little Cyrodex cup. And he gave it to me and he said, try this. And it was so good, it was like heaven in a cup. Because you know, I love soups, I love anything spicy. So this is actually like a pressure cooked chana with a lot of seasonings and a lot of pepper and it's so good. And this is served in bars because you know when people drink, they love to eat a lot of spicy foods. Because I think people who drink their taste buds become dull after a while, so they have to eat more flavorful food. So I'm gonna do my version of this chana super cutters. And if you know the name, leave it in the comments below. Because even though I do videos for you guys, I'm not a know-it-all, I don't know everything. So you guys can help me out at times. So I'm gonna show you guys my take on this chana sauce or cutters, and I hope you enjoy it. So these are the few ingredients you're gonna need for the chana sauce or the chana cutters. I have some chana here, I washed it and I soaked it in some water overnight. Which is why it kinda looks more than it actually is, cause it really soaked in the water and it got a little bit swollen. I also have some bacon soda, salt and some green seasoning. I will have the link for that in the info above. All the exact measurements that I'm gonna be using, it's gonna be on the screen, but if you're using your mobile device, you'll have to go in the down bar below to see all the ingredients. So now let's get into making this chana sauce or chana cutters. So to a pot of water, you're gonna add your chana, your chickpeas in. And I washed this out from the water it was soaking in overnight. And what I forgot to mention was that I actually added just a little pinch of baking soda in it while it was soaking overnight. So that's why it kind of looked brown because it was pulling all those impurities out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna boil it first with the baking soda. And then we're gonna drain this liquid out, wash it out, and then we'll boil it again. So I'm just gonna cover this and leave it for about 20 minutes until it's really nice and soft and then we'll come back and start making the sauce or the cutters. So the chana has been boiling for the past 45 minutes and what I forgot to mention was that if you have a pressure cooker you can put it in there and it's gonna get softer quicker. I can't find the top for my pressure cooker which is why I didn't use it so I had to go the long way and boil it in a pot. So it got pretty soft and the bacon soda actually kind of dissolved the skin on the outside and it pulled all those impurities out. So now that it's soft and nice, I'm gonna just drain this liquid and give it a good wash and I'm gonna put it back into the same pot to boil. So I've just drained the liquid and washed it out a bit and now what we're gonna do is actually add our seasonings and our salt. So I'm gonna add the salt in and don't add too much salt as yet, just add maybe just a pinch and then we'll taste it at the end to see if it needs any more. And you want to give a generous amount of green seasoning. And this has a lot of pepper in it already. And this dish is actually served with the liquid. Usually when you buy it, you would get it in a Styrotex cup. And it's going to come kind of like a soup with the liquid and everything in it. So just let this boil for another 10 minutes and it should be ready by that time. So it's been about 10 minutes and I think this is a perfect amount of liquid for me. So I'm gonna turn it off. And now all you wanna do is just taste it to make sure it has enough salt, enough pepper, seasonings and everything. So you can serve this in a Styrotex container. This is perfect to serve at like a party or if you have an lime at your house. It's amazing. So I figured I'd just do a video for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this chana cutters or chana sauce recipe. As soon as I go back to Trinidad, I have to go find some of this chana. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm just assuming it's chana cutters or sauce because sauce in Trinidad usually refers to boiled meats that is usually soaked in seasonings and a lot of pepper and it has cucumbers in it except this doesn't have cucumbers so I'm gonna go on a mission next time to find this again because it was so good so I hope you guys enjoy it let me know what you think in the comments below if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed subscribe to see all my latest videos and I will see you guys in my next one bye